Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome to the Balance University podcast. I'm your host, Nick Stolas. Today, we're going to be re- reacting. The reason University is such a map. I have the keyboard in my lap, and I just touched it. Um, little uh, sneak peek. We are going to be reacting to an Andrew Tate video today. Um, he has been canceled on YouTube. Uh, my opinion on Andrew Tate is very, um, you know, it's 50-50. I like a lot of what he says. Uh, I think he's extremely smart when it comes to marketing. Um, I do think he's very dumb for getting canceled. You can't say specific things regardless of your opinion of something. Um, you know, people say it's an attack on free speech. But, you know, YouTube is a business. Twitter is a business. Facebook is a business. Chase Bank is a business. You can't walk into someone's house and be blatantly disrespectful, break all the rules, and expect not to be kicked out. I've hosted parties in the past. I've kicked people out of my house who were disrespectful to my property, and they were disrespectful to me. I had every right to kick them out. And YouTube had every right to kick Tate out. They had every right to kick Sneeko out. They had every right to kick whoever the hell they want out because you are in YouTube's house. You have to be willing to play by their rules. It's not an attack on the matrix. Like they like to make it seem like, Oh my God, free speech. Blah, blah, blah. No. Like if you, you live in a free country, where's Tate tube or Sneeko tube? You know what I mean? Like make that website and then say whatever the hell you want. But you know, YouTube's got specific rules and you have to, you know, listen to them or you're going to get kicked out of the party. So, um, that's where I think Tate is just very, he, he's a, extremely rich, extremely smart, but I feel like, like, dude, you can't be saying the wild shit that he was saying. And I don't believe he believes everything that he was saying either. He knows that the more crazy, the crazier the shit that he says, the more viral it will go, the more money he'll make. So that's another thing. So, um, you know, just be careful. If you're somebody who's trying to grow a personal brand like me, you have, I, I have a very similar business to Tate. Um, he has Hustles University. I have Balance University. The difference between my company and his company is I actually teach the courses. He hires people to teach the courses for him. He's just the marketing guy for it. I do everything. Um, you know, I have a YouTube channel. He had a YouTube channel. Now he's on Rumble. But, um, there's a lot to learn from him from a marketing standpoint. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. And I agree. I vehemently agree with this video we're about to react to today. And the video is why it's a waste of time. And he's referring to the educational system. So let's get it. The reason university is such a massive scam is because it exists in an eco chamber. It doesn't exist in fair competition. The reason universities still manage to function is because they'll give children loans to go to these schools, but you're not allowed to use the loan for anything else. If I were to say to the average 18 year old, here's 50 grand. You can either start your own business, you can buy a crypto, you can buy mentorship from you, me, another millionaire online. You can fix your house up or your parents' house up. You can buy a nice car or you can go get a degree. And you would give them the 50 Gs. How many people do you think would choose a degree? No. No. Nobody. Zero. So they link the loan to the degree. So the choices are either don't get the loan at all or get the loan and go to school, which means that the universities don't exist in fair competition. There's no fair competition within the entire educational system. Right. As soon as there's fair competition, nobody would choose it because it's such a terrible choice. It suffers from double inflation. It gets more expensive every year and more degrees exist every year. The value goes down. The price goes up year on year on year on year. It's a total waste of time. When the fu- Now, I... Couldn't agree with what he said more. Anybody who knows me, here, I'll just go on my website so you guys, just for like background purposes. Give me one sec. Um, no, come on. I don't want to be the admin. Balance, teachable. Cool. So this is my course. Like Tate has Hustles University. I have Balance University. Um, These are my courses. I'm getting rid of the Crypto Academy. Um, Even though I do love that course, it was, I I built it with my buddy Joe. Um, He did phenomenally well with uh, buying Cardano. He got in at a very good time, but like, you know, I don't teach the course. so I really don't feel that comfortable selling it, but um, these are my courses and shit. Um, All right. This is just for background purposes. So the reason I agree with Tate on that video so much is because if you think about it, 
school is literally the only thing that you could pay for, get a loan, and not file bankruptcy on. You have to pay that off. People literally die before they pay it off. Like you literally have to pay that off and like until it's completely paid off. And say you got a hundred grand loan. It's so much more than just a hundred grand. If you factor in inflation, you factor in interest. Those two things literally have the potential to swallow you whole. Now, I'm not saying it's always a bad idea. I'm thinking from the standpoint of somebody who doesn't know what they want to do yet. Um, and you're just going to get a liberal arts degree. What are you doing? What are you doing? In my opinion, you should go get a job. You should learn how hard it is to make a fucking thousand dollars before you accept a hundred grand to go study art and history and get a freaking liberal arts degree that everybody else has. Now you have a hundred grand plus interest plus like it, it, for me, it's like I was taking a liberal arts degree. I was learning business 101, marketing 101. And this was like six years ago. And I remember just being in class, like in a marketing class, and this f- completely overweight dude walking in with his Diet Dr. Pepper every single day would put his Coke down on the, this Coca-Cola, down on the um, on the desk. And he would just be like, well, how do we feel about Donald Trump today? This is when Trump is president. And the class would just talk to him about Trump. And I would just be sitting there like, you're teaching me business? We're just talking about the latest thing Trump did as like, it was literally just like, we were just talking like about what he likes to talk about. He didn't teach us a single thing. And I remember I wrote an essay and he gave me like a C without a single mark on the paper. And I asked him, I was like, why the fuck is this a C? You didn't give me a reason for it to be a C. There's no corrections. There's no, he just goes, nah, I didn't like it. And I was just like, mind blown. I was like, yo, what the actual fuck is going on? So, you know, and then uh, me and my, my, my buddy Joe, um, we started doing entrepreneurship together. You know, he showed me this book called The Laptop Millionaire. And that's when um, I, I would start learning about entrepreneurship while I was in class, just tuning out my teachers. And I would build my YouTube channel. I was editing videos. I got kicked out of a social studies class one time. It was hilarious. Um, I asked the guy in the beginning of the class, I'd be like, Hey, listen, like I'm paying attention, but I own a marketing company and I'm taking care of clients and I'm working on my laptop, but I'm also simultaneously listening to the, the history lessons, you know, like I'll make sure I get good grades. Let me do my thing. And then he said, okay, yeah, that's fine. And then I proceeded to do it and he fucking hated it. He hated me. And then after class, he literally like said, listen, if you do that again, I'm dropping you. And I was just like, you said, okay, bruv. So, and then I ended up showing up late. Um, you know, I think like maybe the next class I showed up like a little late and then he literally stormed. He said, get the fuck outside and then screamed at me and told me to never come to his class again. And I was like, Hmm, nice. This is the, the people that are you know, they're, 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 a lot of these college professors are just power hungry people who just are looking for some sort of meaning in the world. But at the end of the day, you're just teaching from a fucking textbook that somebody else wrote and you're t- trying to teach business. And like, what business have you fucking created? You get paid an annual salary to read somebody else's textbook. You know what I mean? Like I made more money in October than you made teaching your fucking, your, your college professor. Like how much does a college professor make? College teacher salary. Anywhere between, I guess it really varies depending on where you go. But say this guy makes 50K in a year. How much is 53, 53 Divided by 12. Make $4,000 a month. Bro, I made 10 in October and literally doubled what the fuck you made. And I'm half your age. And I was able to do that by teaching myself business, not fucking bending the knee to you. So 
dude, I, I also have another video on my YouTube channel where I'm trying to, you know, talk to my college class about the Ty Lopez course that I was taking at the time. This was like six years ago because I got into his SMMA course about like six years ago. And the guy basically stopped me in the middle of my speech. And he was like, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Come back to me when you fucking made some money. Um, you know, you're an idiot. Um, he's like, what's the point? I'm like, I'm like, why should we listen to people who make 50 grand a year and not the people that are making a million dollars a year? And I asked him that. And he was like, and I was like, these videos are on YouTube for free. What's the point of me paying for college and me listening to somebody making fucking 50 grand a year? You don't have what I want. So why would I listen to you? And then he was like, well, there's, you, you can learn how to play piano on YouTube, but not everybody plays piano. And I was like, yeah. Okay. So that's when I, I knew that I needed to get out of my community college and um, I needed to pursue my own thing. So college is good for some people, but it's horrible for others. It is literally the worst place in the world for an entrepreneur. If you're somebody that wants to work for yourself and make serious fucking money working for yourself and not having a boss, college is a no-go. But if you're somebody who wants to be a teacher, you want to be a lawyer, you want to be a doctor, this video has does not apply to you at all whatsoever. You want to be an engineer, does not apply to you whatsoever. Do your thing, you need college. It's a necessary s step for you to accomplish what you want to be. By all means, go do it. I'm saying for somebody who wants to build a business, who, who is literally like, like the internet is so fucking new. It's like two decades old. The people that are making the most, like the, the college's textbooks can't keep up with the new information. It's just too new. I'm learning more about Facebook ads on a daily basis than a, co a college needs to print out a textbook than teach the entire curriculum. Curriculum. I think I said that word. Hold on. There we go. Um, the curriculum is changing constantly, rapidly. Like, a somebody studying in college an entire year's course, like you're just digesting information and then taking a test to see if you remember it and then you forget all of it and then you go to the next test and it's just like, I'm all about action, motherfucker. Like, like that's why business works for me because like I need to be making calls. I need like the only way to get good at business is fucking doing it. Like experience is everything. Like if I didn't make a hundred calls a day, I would not be good at selling stuff. I needed to do it. I didn't need to learn the definition of a cold call. I needed to make cold calls. I didn't need to learn, you know, the definition of a Facebook ad and learn the vocabulary word and type in the correct multiple choice of what qualifies as a Facebook ad. I mean, I don't think Facebook ads were even in the marketing course that I took back at the community college. I needed to do Facebook ads and split tests and learn for myself how the fuck they work and hire people like, College is a tool to teach you how to be a good employee. It's, it doesn't teach you how to be the boss. Okay? So if you want to be the boss, you want to take the bull by the horns, and you want to fucking be in complete control and have the responsibility for how much you make in life, I recommend being an entrepreneur. But if you're more comfortable with having somebody be your like you we need employees in the world. I'm not saying college is all bad saying for an entrepreneur and from my experience, it was fucking God awful. I needed to go because I wanted to be a professional athlete, got hurt, wasn't good enough. It is what it is. But I'm happy everything worked out the way it did because I have way more satisfaction and I have way more understanding of like, I love my life now more than I've ever loved it in my entire life. I have all the time freedom. I'm making more money than I would be making any regular job. I'm, I have my dream car. I can, when I want to hang out with my friends, like my boys are all chilling at seven. I'm about to, when I'm done with this video, I'm going to post it and I'm going to go to my boy's house and I can just pull up and cause I, I don't have work. I, I work when I feel like it. So if that's, if, if that resonates with you and you want to start your own company, I have three different options for you. I can help you. Okay. You can either be an affiliate for Balance University. I can help you start your own marketing company, or you can join mine. We'll split the profits 50-50 the people that you bring me. 
I have a marketing company. I do ads for, um, I have a yacht charter company, auto detailing, nuts and bolts, restaurants, tile stores. Like it doesn't matter. Every single company wants a good website and they want to be first on Google and they need customers. That's what my company provides. And if that sounds interesting, click the link down below. You could sign up for a free call with me and we can figure out, you know, the best option on how you could start making money, you know, for yourself and figure out, you know, passive income and, you know, how taxes work for people who own their own companies. Like there's so many benefits to owning your own business and uh, you're just not learning that in college. So uh, that's why I believe Balance University is superior. Um, Yeah. Prove me wrong. Debate me if you'd like. If you're at college and you're studying marketing and you'd like to maybe hop on a podcast with me, maybe we could debate on why you think your marketing course is better than mine. I, I, I'm all for it. Like, please click the link down below if that's something that, you know, that's the fourth option. You want to make some YouTube content and you want to stick up for your marketing professor there at your community college or whatever college you're going to. I'd be more than happy to speak with you and hear you out. I'm not going to talk down to you. I'm, I'm, I'm open for civil debate. Um, so yeah, let's talk. Subscribe if you're new. Um, all right, guys, enjoy the rest of your night. I'm gonna go chill with my buddies.